Shit, how much? You've got to be able to take uh, some disappointment in life, too. Not always is everything going to go going to go well. So you just have to roll with the punches when, when adversity hits you. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. And I was facing financial difficulties in my own life. I was behind on my bills and my dreams. And I'm saying to them, you can live your dream. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. It was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing that I could do it. There were times that I doubted myself. I said, God, why, why is this happening to me? It was very hard. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. If you're always winning, then you don't really understand what it is to win. You, you got to take those losses. You got to take those hits. There's got to be the valleys, the peaks, the ups, the downs. In order for you to, when it does happen, you go, wow, con que rico. You know, this is what it's all about. And not only that, it's never about making it, guys. It's always about maintaining it. That's the toughest part. You know, and a lot of people have that. They're scared. They're scared of, of failure. I think people are scared. I think people lack self-esteem. But failure is one of the most important things you could ever have as far as like the motivation to do things differently. One of the reasons why I'm good at work is because I've been a shit worker in the past and I know the, the feeling of failure. Even when you lose, it's okay to lose, but you can't ever get comfortable with it. So I really had two failures before I succeeded with GoPro. How do those failures drive you today? Does well, at the time, you? they scared me, right? And failure isn't easy. It wasn't like I, I thought, oh, cool, I failed. And, and success has taught me that one of the most important things an entrepreneur can have is perseverance, the dedication, a willingness to fail, pick yourself up again, and, and give it another shot. Because if you don't have that, if you don't have that grit, uh, you're going to get run over. It's the reinforcement of those goals, like understanding that the, you can achieve those goals, it's going to be difficult, you're going to push through the difficulty, and then you're going to understand what difficulty truly is, and how much of it is just mental, how much of it is just in your mind, this adversity to, to uh, difficult task or to struggle. I fell so many times and got back up. I've been through the toughest times with my family. But I'm still standing. I got rejected a couple times, and then I just kept asking and asking and asking. And I remember my dad saying, just stick with it. Someday you'll have your day. And, I, and then I, I came back, I think, two years later and finally got an agent. The differential of somebody winning and losing has nothing to do with their genetics, has nothing to do with their potential. It's their perseverance, always showing up person that's willing to gamble it. If you show up, then you have a chance. If you don't show up, the outcome's simple. Never there, like an audition. If you show up to the audition, there's a chance you might get the part. If you're too scared to show up and you sit back at home, wondering what if and everything else, no one in hell is going to call you an opportunity because you weren't present. The winners always show up. They're willing to lose in order to gain. Big mental thing there, guys. Everyone could take action. Literally, if it's that simple, if all it takes to succeed is the ability to know what you want, take action, know if it's working, and keep changing until you get what you want, how come everybody doesn't do it? You go after and you give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I failed. It's ten times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena. The reason is fear. And the fear is usually fear of failure or success or rejection. But the real word I would use for this thing we're afraid of is pain. When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear. And the reason why? Behind every fear is the person you want to be. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not thinking the freedom. 
You're not running the day. The day's running you. You'll always be the f***ing servant, not the master, guys. If you find a fear, the quickest, the easiest way you can beat it is initially, right when it comes in. If you allow it to sit, it will grow root and start breaking you down, destroying the potential of the person you can be. Again, the champions, guys. It's not their potential. It's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not, you know, a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. Success does not define us. We define the success. Shame, failure, embarrassment, and I just remember feeling this tremendous shame. And at some point, I think we all hit that moment in life where things just are not going how you thought they would go. And, and what's amazing about those moments is we all respond very differently. Persevere. Nothing worthwhile is easy. No one of achievement has avoided failure, sometimes catastrophic failures. But they keep at it. They learn from mistakes. They, they don't quit. The second restaurant failed, and they held on to it for too long. So by the time that they closed the second restaurant, it was an $800,000 loss. And so I found myself at the age of 41 like, just feeling like a complete failure. I'm not done yet. All right, I got more in me. When you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not, that is dangerous. We all go through hard times. We all go through depression. We all do go through doubt and, and, and moments in your life where it's really difficult and you're trying to figure out what the f your path is going to be. It's hard as but that is what makes you a person. And those difficult moments are what build your character. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. The journey you're embarking on is not an easy path. It's not for the ill-hearted or the weak-natured. It's for the strong people. And before you embark on this journey, mentally, you have to prepare yourself for it. No one's going to get worse before it gets better. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. And at the end of this race, guys, you're going to be more capable. The first step, guys, is knowing it's a tough road. But through that effort, builds the character of the person you want to be at the end. Accept that. If you believe it, your body physically will find a way to make it happen. At some point, we all bought into this lie that you've got to feel ready in order to change. Yeah. We bought into this, this complete falsehood that at some point, you're going to have the courage. At some point, you're going to have the confidence. And it's total bullshit, frankly. It's, it's complete garbage. And so there are so many people in the world, and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas, and what you think is missing is motivation. And that's not true. Because the way that our minds are wired, and the fact about human beings, is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult. What was the biggest lie you were told? It's not that simple. Why not? No, that's the biggest lie I was ever told. It's not that simple. And it's a lie they tell you over and over again. What's not simple? Any of it. All of it. It's how they get you to give up. They say it's not that simple, Vinny. So what's the truth? That it is. That if you just do the thing that they tell you, 
you can't, then it's done. And you realize it is that simple. And that it always was. <laughs>